How are we all doing tonight? It's Saturday night. I just got off work destroying a clean room by doing a bearing job on one of the machines. A uh, big old washer machine. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that the uh, onions and peppers are in the pan getting hot with some extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil always comes from the ugliest olives. Remember that. Uh, you see my little blue tool over there next to the pan? I'll, I'll come over here and get it for you. See, blue tool. Mm -hmm. for, for stirring and mixing and mixing and stirring. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. I got my lime right here. Now, if you want to watch, if you want to watch this cook. Sorry, I'm going to bring that camera over here, over here, and, and hang it up on on my cupboard over here, so I can get on while I'm cutting this lime up. So if we can talk about, we can talk about that. While I'm doing this down there on this line, with this. So I'm going to pause, and we're going to we're going to come back with this. Okay, a little bit of insight into the hillbilly. This is how hillbilly I am. That's a lime. That's my cutting board, right? I got eggs waiting down the, the cardboard box that's holding up my laptop. So. This is my cupboard. Oh, my cupboard doors. These are chopsticks. What I do is I slide the chopsticks through the through the handles like that. And my camera, see it's got this little foldy foldable deal there. I stick that behind the chopsticks. And it holds it up right there. And I'll kick these I'll kick these cables down out of the way so it's not near as ugly now. But I can turn that camera over this way so you get the lime and me cutting it up. Isn't that neat? And you know, look this way, you can look into my ear while I'm, while I'm cutting it up because I want to look where I'm cutting because I got all 10, started out with all 10. I want to end up with all 10. So, I'm going to take my little Nakiri. You guys would think that's what they call this. High carbon stainless. Oh, Komachi 2. This is a Kom Komachi 2. It's the uh, it's an inexpensive line from from Kai. I love I love Kai cutlery. You all know that if you've been watching for a minute or two. Kai is made for and by Kershaw or vice versa. Um, Absolutely pleasantly sharp with just a few strokes on, on the ceramic. So the lime, the lime. Uh, we want this in half wedges so that we can squeeze it on our, our tortillas when we get the, the fajita stuff on there. Um, I bought shrimp and the shrimp that I bought is pre-cooked. Um, I couldn't I couldn't see myself paying what they wanted for uncooked in in the shell that I'd have to do all the work to. So what's going to happen is we're going to see a beautiful little. Beautiful little half wedges. Um, when when the veggies over there get done, I am going to uh, make sure they're nice and steamy, nice and hot, and just enough liquid to, so I can steam these these shrimp that I have. Uh, they're uh, what 21 to 30 per pound, something like that. I got two pounds of them. Dump the whole two pounds in there. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be so much shrimp in there. It's going to be ridiculous so much stuff to, stuff going on in there um, but real simple job real real simple see how I do that cut that three times cut them cut each half into quarters and then I cut them into eights just like that look at that that's a perfect squeezing size right there about a sixteenth of a lime 
all that lime juice on there. That's beautiful. I'd lick it off, but that knife's really sharp, and I don't want to hurt myself. So, bring it over here to the rinser. Give her a good rinse. And do it just like that. See the rinse is paying out too. Just, I don't like letting even pan sit around that haven't been rinsed. Got some good hot, hot soapy water here too. We're gonna run that in there. Clean that out. There's, there's, there's no reason it's not cleaning. Really there isn't. All y'all kids out there think y'all got got the dishwasher. No. In this house, my wife and I are 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 our own dishwashers. So it's a terrible thing, but that's the way it happens. I'm hearing some sizzling. Uh, I'm gonna pause this, move the camera back over so you can see what's going on. It smells so good. Alrighty, boys and girls, we're back. We're looking at this up right here. Oh yeah, we're getting some steam off of there. Just mixing her up good. Just mixing her up good. Got a little color to it. Got a little smell to it. Oh yeah, baby. Might have to throw a little bit more seasoning in there, but don't know for sure yet. So. Maybe the shrimp, shrimps right there. Two pounds of, yeah, they're farm raised, but that's all right. I can live with farm raised if you can. It's not like we're going to catch the COVID-19 from it. Or the COVID-22 or any of that kind of crap. We grab, we grab a lid for this pan. Oh yeah, we got the lid. Glass lid. Glass lid pan. We're almost there. We're almost to the point of throwing it all together. Just for a little bit extra, we're going to throw that in there. Just a little bit. If I had, there's a Hispanic spice out there, adobado or something like that. It's a kind of a buttery, special kind of a flavor. I'd throw that in there, but. Nope. So, so with that cooking in there, we're gonna throw the throw the lid on there. We count this down: five, four, three, two, one. Just like that. Life, life comes at you fast. It really, really do. Now I was watching another feller doing a live stream of cooking uh, he expressed to me that this is a good way to do it I do I do the recording then 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 air it later after I edit it um, when I get to the spot where I can do a live a live stream of what we do because, because I love doing it so much. Oh yeah, it's, that's a mountain of shrimp in there, isn't it? So we're gonna mix this in a little bit. Not in, not out. Want to try to escape? There we go.
Hi, I'm going to come back to this other, turn this other microphone or this other camera on here. All right, we're back. You, you saw me dump in two pounds of shrimp into, into a pound and a half of onion and, and pepper. Uh, I did throw a little bit of dark red chili powder in there. I mean, not a whole bunch, but you need a little bit more of a one of those. Um, I think that's what it means. You ever go to a Mexican restaurant and you order shrimp fajitas and you get like seven shrimps in your fajitas? And man, it's a lot of vegetables. All vegetables are cheap. That is why. So I'm going just the opposite. I'm going that just a ton of shrimp with a little bit of vegetable and a little bit of spice. Hopefully the spice is going to work out to my advantage. It's going to taste wonderful. It's building up some good juices in there. It's going to be about 15 minutes before that's actually cooked all the way through and done. Uh, I think uh, I was starting to stick just a little bit. So I'm going to crank that back to a medium, medium temp. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. It's raining like you wouldn't believe here. Uh, I am in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. Uh, it's not Oregon. It's Oregon. The Willamette Valley. Uh, the grassy capital of the world. I happen to live, live in a city where there's uh, 11 covered bridges, I believe it is. It's the covered bridge capital of the West. Um, which is pretty cool. They just went, went by and repainted a bunch of them. I guess it takes an act to Congress to do that. But I live in a beautiful place, small town, 810 of us live here, registered voters live here. So, needless to say, we know each other's business for the most part. I don't pay attention, but hey, if you want to, that's great. Um, I love living in a small town because if I go into the kitchen and forget why I, go, why I came in here, I call the neighbor and ask. Problem solved. Alright, Al Decker, I hope you're paying attention to this. Because uh, you are you are my patron, my my Patreon subscriber. Uh, I'm trying to get more Patreon subscribers in here so to help do what I do. Uh, this I, I haven't been printing printing out or typing up a, a recipe for any of these these things I've been putting on. The closest thing was the tuna from last night. That ahi tuna was amazing. Um, cousin JD out there in Missouri cooked some up, and he sent me pictures to the wrong phone, so I can't. I don't have this on that phone, so I will transfer them, transfer them from that phone to this phone, and then put them up on here. Care of JD Hunter, JD Hunter logging. Uh, he's he's trying to eat. Uh, Clean, trying to drop some pounds. He says he wants to drop, drop 50 pounds in, in 30 days. I told him that's probably a bad idea, but week zero. Uh, did I mention at the beginning of this? Uh, let's see, uh, Portland Bagel Works. Portland Bagel Works. Rick over at Portland Bagel Works. Check them out on Facebook. You can find them online, you can find them on, on, on the web, on, on the, the Facebook web here. Um, if you like bagels, give them a shot. He does amazing stuff with bagels. Love the guy. He's just he's just a super good guy. He's a, he's a bass player and a singer and an overall all-around all musician. Um, you'll, you'll hear me uh, playing some music. I'm, I'm going to get permission from the owners of this music to play on this channel. So it'll be lead-in music and uh, um, it, it, it's all good. It's, uh, it's a band called Coyote Creek uh, from the old days. So while that's cooked, well, while that's cooking over there, I got my lines cut up down here. I'm gonna take a little pause, I'm gonna go over stir this up. Oh, I'm gonna go stir this up right down while, while I got you on the line here. Little steam going on. Yeah, that works. Yeah, a little steamy going on. We're not sticking now. 
we're not sticking to the non-stick pan, which is probably probably a good thing. So, as a hillbilly, I got uh, I got a bad habit of making all kinds of all kinds of food. It's like I'm cooking for Jethro Bodine or something. So, if you get that reference, give it a hell yeah. Um, I'm gonna push the pause, do some other cleaning up stuff. Uh, got the dead fridge right here behind me. Uh, hopefully, I'll get the, the the new not so dead fridge in this evening. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, I might have a short day tomorrow. Or, uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on getting that the new one in there because the dead fridge, the freezer works about like a bad refrigerator does. So that's what's happening. Um, yeah, that's the dead fridge from the uh, bear and elk meat uh, stroganoff. So I'll come back and we'll we'll uh, continue we'll continue this little talk. Thank you very much. All right, I'm trying to do a Facebook live thingy. Just had cousin JD on here watching. And uh, and trying to reconnect. Dang. We're gonna throw her up on there anyway. We're gonna throw it up on there. But I just took the lid off of there. Let's see if I can start this live thing again. We're starting live. We're starting live. Starting alright, we we just went live. Right there. Hey. We're live now. Uh, I'm talking to the computer and the camera and the, the phone camera. Uh, JD, this thing just absolutely screwed up on you. Uh, I'm gonna go over there to to the shrimp and shrimp and stuff. I'm gonna turn this camera off. Off and uh, back on and off again. Now uh, concentrate on this one. While you're looking, while you're looking over there, I know it's not live going going into the into the recording, but uh, I turn you around. This is this is what it looks like. Lots of shrimp. Trying to reconnect again. All right, the Facebook Live isn't working very good tonight. Apparently. Uh, Maybe it's my head or whatever, I don't know. But we're gonna share it right now. And it's uploaded. It's taking forever to upload. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna forget doing that for a while. Um, I am gonna get one of them little foldable stand things for my cameras. Hopefully I'll get that 1080p camera showing up here for pretty darn quick. So, so you can get that little movement here. But the movement's really bad, and that one gets some, gets some stutter and some, some following. Uh, we used to call those tracers, but we can't call them that anymore. Um, that's, that's a lot of lives now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, these are going to be fajitas very soon. I'm going to have to get some, some of these tortillas out and start warming them up because this is going to be the great. This is really, really, really going to be good. I'm going to add a little bit more season over there to, to those. Nope, to those. Ah, over there. The cameras are all, bit, all backwards to me. Uh, if I point over there to actually where they are, it's not going to show up. But if I point over here where it's covered, um, you'll, you'll see the, the cooking stuff. So, uh, I'm a little backwards, a little bit, uh, a little, little bit backwards. So, I am gonna push the pause. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some, uh, some tortillas out here ready. Uh, hopefully, it'll, it'll turn out amazing. I really hope so. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have it. We have it done. I am gonna pull it over there as soon as I get prepared for it. With a hot, 
hot fan holder right there. Because that fan is relatively hot. There, there. Looks like something out of a weird movie. It's a spaghetti spoon, spaghetti grabber. Seems like it's going to work really good for this because of all the vegetables in there. Um, not a whole lot colorful. I didn't buy any red or orange or yellow, yellow peppers, but this is uh, how we're going to serve this one right here. Throw a lime wedge on there. Throw two lime wedges on there. It looks prettier. And, uh, and go serve this to my wife. Uh, we're going to sit up at the table to eat these things. You know, it's like I put two of them tortillas there and a mess of the stuff for whatever falls out of the first one, drops into the second one. Boom! Instant second one. We love it when that happens. I'll come back to you. Alright, I'm back. Starting from scratch. Just served my wife hers because I love my wife dearly. We're going to take another scoop of these things. Oh, there's a tail right there. Ouch. That's really hot. You get the one with the tail out of there. Golly. Throw a mess of them on there like that. It smells really good. It smells ridiculously good. But it seems to be a big whole mess of it again. So we're going to take a lid. Put the lid back on here. I know it's not going to absorb any of that moisture, but it'll keep it out of my out of my camera here. Take a couple of these lime wedges, drop her up on there. Boy, it's just that's just almost cool enough to grab now. Pull that tail off of there. We don't like the tails being on the shrimps. They're all right if we're doing a. If we're doing a Monterey or something like that, we're uh, smothered in in Monterey Jack cheese. So one more time, I'll, I'll go through this again. Al Decker, you the man. You are the the Patreon subscriber. Uh, a couple couple of new people, Cody and Julie. Welcome to the page. I hope you enjoy everything we're doing. Uh, Sweet Grass Hemp Company and Big Top Farms. Uh, Portland Bagel Works, Rick over at Portland Bagel Works. You're going to find these things on the Facebook. Um, there, there's going to be a link in the description on the YouTube channel at the very least. Uh, and hopefully, in, in all the videos, I'm going to start scheduling. I think I have that figured out. Savage the Boss is helping me out with that. Uh, Cyclops Gaming. Helping me with these logos. Um, I have my coffee cups and leggings and t shirts, tank tops, die cut stickers, or, and all of that stuff. If you want to shop for that kind of stuff, uh, go to my page. You'll find a link to the Teespring account. Uh, you can order them directly from there. It all helps to do what I like, like to do out here. Go to Patreon, subscribe on, on my Patreon page. That's Patreon, uh, Hillbilly Foodborne at Patreon or on Patreon. Uh, come on in and sign up, become a patron, read Bye. read what's going on in there, and uh, leave it. You get you get some uh, special deals going on with with the merchandise, and you get uh, early ups on any of the videos that I release. So y'all have a wonderful night. Please eat well. Oh, I gotta go over here.